welcome to all classic horror in this collection we're looking at classic triumph saloons of the 1960s and 1970s and to begin with we start with xwt 656s which is a 1977 triumph 2500s the straight six two and a half liter engine there you can just about see the su carburetors and that is followed by a rear three quarter view of a september 1973 triumph toledo or toledo uh, 1300 cc engine in that one that engine used in many different triumphs back in the day and here the first of several heralds to feature in this collection 879 vtu this one was registered in june of 1962 that's a 1200 and the vitesse six cylinder brother to the triumph herald of course 994 frx this one was registered in january of 1964 that's got the 1600 cc straight six engine 2500s estate is next this r edge example dates to late 76 or early 1977 this was at the classic car show at tatton park quite a few years ago and the triumph herald this one from 1967 uh, may 1967 to be precise this has got the 1147 cc engine under its bonnet Another Herald, this one is the later version with the revised front end, the Herald 1360, this one on later replacement Mini Light style wheels. Down to the NEC, we've got a Triumph 2000 or 2500 Mark 1, also on Mini Light style wheels. Again, you can see that straight six engine there hiding under the bonnet. Sticking with the big Triumphs for a moment, we've got quite a rare car here, a MX-10H, that's a Triumph 2500 PI, the Mark 1 saloon with the Lucas fuel injection. To Chumney Castle Classic Car Show, we've got an H registration Triumph 1300, these were front wheel drive, these particular cars, very nice and quite a rare sight now. An H reg Vitesse Mark 2, 2 litre here. Slightly wider steel wheels, they look like the 5.5J wheels on that one. Different seats as well. FPJ 45J is a 1970 Triumph Herald 1360. This was in the classic car auction area down at the NEC. And at the same venue, we've got the Triumph Dolomite Club and a triple X sponsored Dolomite Sprint race car here. The Triumph 1500 here, the 1496 or thereabout CC engine, also used in the last of the Triumph Spitfires. Continuing with classic Triumphs, we've got a fantastic 2500. This is an ex-works car, 2.5 PI, has rallied on the East African Safari in 1972. Another Dolly, another Dolomite Sprint, the 16 valve engine of course. The rear three-quarter view of another Herald, a 1200 Herald from 1967. The 1147cc engine as used in the early Spitfires, the Mark 1 and 2. The Herald Saloon, this one a 1360 from 1967 or early 1968. MDE 850R, that's a 1976 2000 TC. The big saloons either had the 2 litre uh, straight six or the 2.5 litre straight six, the latter being a bit more talky. GDA 145C, this pops up at many local shows. This was registered in uh, August of 1965, it's a 1250 with the folding sunroof. The Dolomite here, this is a K Reg car from about 1971 or early 1972. This one is the 1850. Another big saloon, the 2500S, I believe, I might be wrong, I think these replaced the 2.5 litre PI uh, in Triumph's range in the 1970s. This car's from 1975. Back to the NEC, got another Toledo front view this time. Still at the NEC, we've got this fantastic Herald Coupe. The first Coupe has had a smooth roof, then they went to this ribbed roof on the slightly later ones. This car was registered in January of 1963. 
And sticking with coupes, we've got this one-off factory-built Vitesse coupe. This uh, was sold originally to a chap in France and is recently repatriated here, but this is the only factory-built Vitesse coupe. Back to Dolomites and looking at that little badge on the rear roof corner there, 135, it suggests it's a modified Dolomite Sprint. Continuing with these big old Triumphs, we've got another Mark II, Triumph 2000 here. This one's on TR6 steel wheels, and they do look the part. Another 2500, this is a PI, so again, quite a rare survivor now from late 72 or early 1973, bit of a work in progress, rolling restoration, this particular Triumph, great to see that one. Triumph Vitesse Saloon is next, a J-Reg car from late 1970, that's a Mark II, 2 litre, with a rotor flex rear suspension. The general view of the Dolomite Club stand at Chumley Castle Classic Car Show. I'm not sure what you call a group of Dolomites, maybe a deluge of Dolomites, I'm not sure. First of two photos now of FHP 644C. This from March 65 was a fastback or liftback proposal for the Triumph Herald. It was a prototype but didn't get beyond the prototype stage. There's a rear view of the same car, quite a sleek looking motor I think. Uh, although a full length hatch would have probably have been more useful. Down to race retro a couple of years ago, we've got this N registration, 1974, 2500 Mark II, the fuel injected engine of course, very similar to the Triumph TR6. PLL 644W, that's a fairly late example of a Dolomite, September 1980, this car with the 1854 cylinder engine in it. The 1300 front wheel drive car, this one looks like it's been somewhere muddy recently looking at the uh, state of the paintwork, but nice solid car overall. And the 1360 Herald, an 8 dredge car from late 69 or early 1970, this one in bright red. There's an A40 Mark II alongside. Very smart blue Triumph here, it's a 1500 four door example. This was at the Molpa Steam Rally quite a few years ago now. Continuing with these classic Triumphs, we've got a 1966 Triumph Herald GVT 459D. This one was registered in April of 1966. It's got the later wheels from a Spitfire or a GT6 perhaps. Two photos now of a Mark II Triumph Vitesse, a two litre car. Uh, this one's on period cosmic alley wheels. Like I said, this had the Rotorflex rear suspension, which tamed its somewhat wayward handling characteristics. Really a nice car, that one, G Reg from late 68. Another 2,500 TC here, this is an estate version in brown. CEX 495C was seen at an evening classic car meet. This one dates to May of 1965. It's a two litre engine under the bonnet used for a bit of road rallying. Side view of a red Triumph 2000 Mark II on mini lights. Not every car suits bright red and mini light wheels, but I think that one does. This was seen at the Smallwood Vintage Rally quite a few years ago, a 67 Triumph 1300. Another one on mini lights and not looking bad for it at all. This is PCM 640J, two and a half litre PI Mark II. They didn't have a great reputation back in the day, the PI cars. Now this is a real rarity. This was a four door prototype, uh, now owned by the Triumph Sport 6 Club. Uh, India, in fact, had its own standard Herald Mark III four door. You could actually buy that from the dealers, but this car in this country didn't get beyond the prototype stage. Next up, a 66 Vitesse. This is the 1600 version, this one from April 1966, but it's been untaxed since 2016, so where is it now? Another Dolomite here. Back to the big Triumphs in the estate, very nice indeed. Another Triumph 2000 estate car with the metal wheel trims. So often those have disappeared and been replaced by mini light wheels. 
Another very similar car, this is the 2500S on twin carburettors, P Reg example from 1975. Just saloon alongside. DTE 832B, that's another Vitesse 1600 um, from April 1964. That's got the full length roof, similar to the Herald 1250. Very original looking Triumph 2000 Mark 1 here. This is an 8 dredge car from about 1969 or early 1970. AFM 588A is a Herald 1250. So this is a 1200cc car with the Webaster roof as standard. Of course you could unbolt that roof and fit it to your own Herald if you found a 1250 in the scrapyard. AWP 626H is another early example of the Mark 2 Triumph 2000. Brown example. Our Edge Triumph 2500 TC here, twin carburetor car from 1976. This was at the Smallwood Vintage Rally in the mid 2000s, I think. Back to Herald's PDB 311H, that's a September 1969 1200cc car. Great little cars, great visibility out, amazing turning circle, uh, popular with driving schools back in the day. JTC 365B. Here's another Vitesse 1600, this one from November 64, but this one's been untaxed since 2009, so must be in someone's garage somewhere, surely. Back to Dolomite and the T-Reg Dolly Sprint here. Nice polished alley wheels on this particular car. Folding sunroof, vinyl roof. And TD 547G is an October 1968 Triumph 2000 Mark I, but a particularly wet Tatton Park many years ago. Carry on with these classic Triumph saloons and estates. We've got the first of, I think, two photos of a work in progress Triumph 2000 Mark II. This L Reg car um, is late 72 or early 1973. There's a rear view of the same car. This was at Chumley Castle Classic Car Show, as quite a few of these photos were. And the Triumph uh, 1300 front wheel drive car there. 8 registration, 1969 or 1970. The first of three photos now of XOY622. This is a wonderful early Herald from January of 1960 with a 948 CC engine. It's got the handle in the centre of the bonnet there. That was deleted um, after a short time. There's a rear view of the same car, earlier style badging. Uh, absolutely wonderful, wonderful original Survivor. This proper original number plate on there looks like the paint is original, just perfect. Absolutely love this one. There's an interior view. The dashboard was a kind of compressed, almost like a cardboard type material. Uh, another identifier for the early Triumph Heralds. Great to see this one out and about. Pale grey steering wheel as well. First of two photos now of a 2500S from 1976. This was taking part in the classic car road run a little while ago. Plenty of Triumphs turned up, including the stag in the background. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car, UGH94R. There's another Herald 1200 showing off its excellent engine accessibility. It's a first-time classic buy. There's a lot to be said for a Triumph Herald or the related Spitfire. You can just get at everything. It's quite incredible, really. NDB 150G is an October 1968 Triumph 2000 Mark I. This one with a folding roof open. WVF 869S is a Triumph Dolomite. This was spotted down, I think, at Bista Heritage, I think this was. Always have to include an estate car somewhere. This is a Herald Estate, a G-Reg example from late 68 or early 1969. This was definitely a Bista. A side view of a Vitesse Mark II here. Very nice two-tone coloured example. Uh, I think this was also Chumley Castle. Over to the Crew Heritage Centre now for this Mark II Triumph 2000 on the Alley wheels, very smart two-tone car, black roof, white body. The ST1 alongside was almost the replacement really for the big Triumphs. Back to 1967 and we've got a pale blue Mark I Triumph 2000 here. Really nice example.
Back to Dolomites, and we've got an M Reg Dolly Sprint. Many people say the earlier cars are actually built better than the later ones. If you've got any experience of any of the Triumphs featured here, please pop a note in the comments. I've had Spitfires, but not Dolomites. First of two photos now of a much modified Triumph Toledo, HBF 700N. Uh, this one dates to January of 75, and it's got a Rover V8, a, a twin plenum Rover V8 engine out of a Vitesse under its bonnet, so that must go quite well. The old example of a two and a half litre 2500 saloon here, Dole 999, not a Dolomite, but a December 72 car. Like I say, two and a half litre. The badging varied throughout the years. Next up, a JE registration Vitesse Mark II, two litre, with the original tin wheel trims. Another Herald 1360 here, very smart, very original looking car, this one. Mark 1 and Mark 2 Triumphs here, DXA383C in the foreground. That's obviously a Mark 1 from 1965. There are a three quarter view of another Herald 1250, this one from 1966. Very nice Triumph estate here is Dext. A few triumphs to go. We've got another Dolomite Sprint here. It's always a good turnout of Dolomites at the Trimley Castle Classic Car Show. Another very smart 2500S here. Bright red, alley wheels. Great regular user, one of those would be. Another one showing off its engine accessibility, this is a Vitesse Mark II, as the badge on the side of the bonnet says, so that'll be the 2 litre straight 6 under there with the road to flex rear suspension. Just a few more classic Triumphs to come, a rear view of a race prepared Triumph Dolomite Sprint now, this was at Alton Park, I think probably one of the Gold Cup meetings a few years ago. Another really nice Vitesse here, this is a Mark 1 2 litre car, Efridge from 1967. First of two snaps now of OYY367L, this is a 2500 estate, stunning looking car, it's obviously a Mark 2 but they use the same back end as the Mark 1, here we can see it better, big tow bar on the back of this particular car, loads of torque, could be great for towing a Piri Caravan. And that lovely old Triumph rounds out this collection of 90 photographs featuring classic Triumph saloons and estate cars of the 1960s and 1970s. Uh, Triumphs feature in a number of the videos on the channel now, so please take a look around before you disappear. And more videos along very, very soon. Bye for now.